We'll guide you through how to connect an external hard drive or SSD to your iPhone 15. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Firstly, you need to identify what connector your hard drive uses. So in this case here, my hard drive uses a USB-A. As you can see here, it is just a traditional USB-A, but yours may use a USB-C. Now, if yours uses a USB-C, that's great because it means you can plug your hard drive straight into your iPhone because the iPhone 15 has got USB-C. So if you've got a USB-A hard drive, then you're going to need an adapter because as I said, the iPhone 15 is USB-C. So this is where you'll need something which looks like this. As you can see, we've got a USB-C and then a USB-A. So I'll go and put some links to Amazon for adapters just like this. So what you want to do is go and plug the adapter in like this. And then we go and plug the hard drive into the adapter just like this, as you can see. And then I've now plugged it in and my hard drive is now started up. I can see it flashing blue. Yours may be different though. And then to go and see in the hard drive, you need to go and open up the files app. So as you can see, it should be here. You can always search your phone for it if you're struggling to find it. Then we can open it up. And what you need to do is go to the browse page. So you may need to click it a few times or press back. And then if we scroll up into locations, it should appear there. As you can see, mine is called Seagate because that's the brand it is. But you're going to notice that whatever the name is, it will have this sort of hard drive icon there. And then you can click on it and you can then go and see all your files. And quickly, if you want to move files from your hard drive or to it, all you need to do is find the file either on your iPhone or the hard drive, then hold your finger on it like so. And then you just need to go and click on move like this and you can then choose where you want it. So I've got on my iPhone selected and I can then press copy in the top right and it's then been copied to my iPhone. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.